Donald Trump being arrested or Pope Francis wearing a designer jacket or even better Virat Kohli endorsing a betting app. Now in a world where images can be created with just a simple commands given to a computer these days an app itself we can no longer trust what we see. Right, you're just scrolling through your social media feed suddenly you're faced with a stunning image that makes you stop and stare. But is that picture or that video too good to be true? From deep fakes to AI generated art, the technology is advancing at a lightning speed. And it's not just celebrities. Take a look at this image. For instance, an image showing women dressed in military uniform is being shared widely. The image depicts the Indian Army and women soldiers eating food on the road while on duty under the hot sun in Rajasthan. Right, this image has been talked about in detail. It's important to tell you, our viewers, that it's entirely AI generated. And if you look carefully on your screens, you can tell some of those discrepancies. So, for example, the woman on the extreme right had three hands. There were two hands shown without the body altogether. These are told to us as the ways in which you can tell that something is perhaps an AI image. But that larger question we want to ask our viewers today, how do you always get that right? So how can you spot an AI-generated image? What are the telltale signs over there? Now it's time to do a fact check and also empower yourself with the information that you need when it comes to AI-generated images. Let's bring in our guests on the program now. We're joined by Ankush Sabarwal, founder of Bharat's GPT. And in some time from now, we'll be joined by Prashant Sharma as well, who's a certified ethical anchor. Ankush, to you first. Good morning. Thanks so much for joining us. Now, we just showed our viewers a few examples of what images and AI generated images can do to you. It can make you feel like the Pope walks around in, in Dolce Gabbana and uh, that uh, Donald Trump has been arrested indeed. All of this is obviously untrue, but the fact really lies in identifying them. Uh, do you have some tricks up your sleeve on how one can spot an AI image uh, and, and tell that, listen, this, this is not true? Hey, hi, good morning, everyone. Thanks for uh, having me here. I think, as you rightly mentioned, there was some discrepancy. Uh, I think uh, what uh, we have to do is zoom as much as possible and see those discrepancies. And uh, sometimes the discrepancy could not be as we have seen three hands, but it can be very, very subtle. Um, uh, I think it, it can be a very uneven of things i think human judgment i hear this is not real but of course there are tools if mm. you go google uh, to detect um, uh, ai images or not uh, tool does probably 80 90 percent of the job again um, all the tools are not right and even even any tool is not right all the time i tried myself i've given the actually made it our intuition we are very very good in identifying those visual discrepancies at times so we have to go with the gut but i think uh, uh, above all of that we need to really see what's the source who who mm. actually we are watching cnn right there are hundreds and thousands and millions of youtube channels right there's a source from where any content is coming whatever we buy whatever we consume so the source is very, very important. I think because viewers have has have Absolutely. to see the, mm. the source. What the sources. Is uh, just tell us, Ankush. Let me just tell our audiences. Ankit Sharma is also with us. He's a certified ethical hacker at Cyber. So we'll ask him this next question. Sometimes with uh, Ankit, just tell us. Sometimes with tracking the source, it gets difficult. So much of the time, for example, uh, with X or Twitter, you'll see a video maybe posted by someone. But that doesn't mean that that video was first posted by them. You know, the video itself could have been posted 3,000 times. You can even go on, let me tell our audiences, you can take a screenshot, you can try to go on Google reverse images or something that tracks back the source. But oftentimes even that fails. Hmm. So how do you suggest our audiences actually go about trying to verify something if they want to go the technical route? But definitely it's very difficult. It's very, very difficult and uh... Uh, there are specialist companies who are actually doing these things, right? So, uh, as a normal user, it's very difficult to do, okay? 
uh and uh, another difficult part of this is because now all the meta products they have a strict anti scraping policies right so you can't scrape the data from facebook just like that the mass scraping you can't do a mass scraping from x or twitter now right the only way to identify those things uh to some extent you can use a technology but most of the times you need a you know a, a team of some some you know a, certified guys and in, in these products to actually identify the issues and they can do the you know identification of the perpetrators right technology sometimes fail they can link to a certain extent but the point here is because you can't extract the whole data from from the twitter like right, through a bot you need some kind of a manual presence or a manual approach to to do all these things over there so not everything is uh, automated right mm. some extent of it you know you need a, ma- a manual way as well but yeah to for the audience right whatever information whatever news anything that you are seeing if you want to believe it on or believe on those things make sure that these are from the legit sources and you have heard about those sources earlier or before right otherwise a lot of these issues are happening uh, globally i would say right yeah right yeah. And, uh, i think trust yeah. uh, that is going to become the fulcrum and the starting yeah. point of all of data sharing moving forward and i think that's what we need to focus more and more on uh, ankush if i can get back to you you know the thing with uh, ai generated images that people say is that if it's too good to be true know that it cannot be hmm. it probably is and know that it is being generated by ai but what's happening in these days is that more and more ai images look real and the real images are being filtered to perfection in a in a situation like this is the is it too much to put the onus on the end user on the consumer to identify what is real or not shouldn't the responsibility lie on platforms to sort of filter it out as well absolutely absolutely so i think all all uh, aspects the consumer side i think it's easy because it's it's we which are going to be victim we must first probably um, follow all the checks possible and of course uh, the technologies right if i wear the technologies um, hat uh, we need to ensure uh, see there is something called c2pa um, c2pa protocol which uh, ensures any image has the uh, meta uh, facts like uh, uh, the who has taken the photo when the photo was taken um, and uh, in which device it was taken so all this meta facts um, gets embedded into the photo uh, i think uh, and unfortunately uh, most of the social media and messaging platforms they remove this information sometimes if you take photo from your mobile handset and go to info you would see all these facts right who has created when um, and um, uh, multiple uh, metadata about that image i think uh, these technologies must not remove this information and in fact for uh, chat gpt4 mm. uh, whatever image comes from chat gpt4 this uh, metadata is there along with the photo not with llama not with the uh, ai which comes with whatsapp yet right so this metadata must not be removed and on the policy makers yes i think there should be law as we know in uk this uh, defaking this impersonation is illegal uh, yes it is probably illegal to some extent in india and um us only when it is uh, about misusing or uh, harming someone so the law should be more stringent yeah, under the new law and the hmm. technology technology also should ensure that metadata is given along with the image so that it's easy for the users to identify just uh, let's go to ankit ankit just explain to us it's a slightly technical question but ai at the rate it's developing is there a world where we could one day see a quality of images that even other machines can't track because isn't the whole point here that finally we are able to create with machines something that the human eye can't catch maybe there's a day where other ai machines can't catch it too is that world fast coming yep definitely it is going to happen sooner or the later right so that is why i actually told you that you can't be completely i'm a technical guy right but i'm also saying this that you can't be completely reliant on the technology aspect of it to identify these things right okay. so normally what the big organizations are doing right now is uh, i'll give you an example 
so they provide uh, the images multiple images of their executives to two companies right who are actually monitoring the uh, ai fakes and everything uh companies uh go and you know, collect the data from the entire internet wherever you know those kind of images are available like you know like the distance between the eyes the nose pattern and all those things through that we identify all kind of pictures that is resembling the you know the what you say the, the structure of the face collect those things pass it on to the uh, you know customer that hey you know these are the things which are actually available now the onus is on you to identify which could be fake and which could be real right because you never know right now the biggest problem is that you know uh, the communication team of the companies they themselves are using ai for their executives right so because now it's a meme culture they also want to you know uh, come into the market to look a bit uh, funky and everything they are also using the ai generated images for some kind of a promotion campaigns and things like that but those are for the legit business purpose right if you go by that logic that whatever you know is not a real image looks like a ai image take it down those kind of you know legit communications from the companies from their communication team their csr teams will also get you know taken down so a lot of things needs to be done but mm. uh, 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 what i am seeing is there is going to be a lot of human involvement in this right ai ai is to mm. naked eyes it is going to be very very difficult to identify it is already happening right now as well but the you know i monitoring these things picking up those things is easy but after that you also need to have a verification process for which you need to involve some individual hmm. from from a particular company from you know a particular place who can actually give you a validation that yeah this is something which is not legit or this is something which is legit right so that is going to happen Okay. Ankush, uh, can I come to you next and understand this? Are there some unique challenges that India sort of throws up when it comes to deep fake? We are extremely creative in using them. Beam culture, right? Ankit also said, is quite wild in India. We are proud of it almost. Uh, but say somebody like you who's running Bharat GPT right now, are there particular challenges that you are facing, and also how are you tackling them? Yes, I think. Uh what we have decided uh, as as a policy um, is we would not add any content or we would not let any content uh, in bharat gpt uh, add it if it is not owned by a company or a developer or a user um so we we take that concept um and with which we even do deep fake we create uh, interactive digital twins deep fake but it's interactive right mm. it can be more better because you can talk to anyone not just consume as one way video we allow anyone to talk to it can be the ceo of a company or a brand ambassador or any leader uh, or a doctor during covid we had launched ask doc where uh, users were able to talk to real doctor virtually virtually so what we have created a policy we create deep fakes but it is for the right purpose and with the concept right so if if um, uh, as technology as such is not bad right it can be uh, used for right reasons because someone talking to doctor and doctors probably not available and if doctor gives you advice with the doctor's own wisdom and persona so it's it's a good tool but but provided the doctor himself or herself has given the consent to be impersonated so that users and consumers can use few use cases where we have done where mm. implies can to the ceo and so on so yeah so i think consent source uh, and the right purpose uh, is is important and users should also be aware and check who has created this and the source is there or not i think every photo now should have the kind of source so when we buy a product you think see about um, apple charging cable right you go to apple store you go to branded store and probably you pay 2000 bucks and uh, and you buy original one you go to the mobile accessories shop you can get that for 100 rupees as well right so uh, it, it looks same it probably works same for some time but why do we go to apple store certified store and buy it right the source is very very important and that mm. should be even for still content 
Okay, let's just uh, let's just summarize this, Ankit. We, in terms of takeaways for our audiences, the question we entered with is, how can you arm yourself to spot AI-generated images? We started by saying that look at those images carefully, right? So look, for example, for an extra limb, something that's inaccurate. After a point, though, we said that sometimes that may not be enough. Then look at the source. See if you can track the source. But just tell us, in terms of trusted websites that you can do reverse searches in, that you can look at, what would you tell our audiences to rely on? Uh, I would, you know, the, uh, the most useful thing that is going to be is your common sense, right? So, obviously, the purpose uh, of, of that particular, like, like you know, Ankush just said, that these kind of things are not only for the malicious purposes only. These are some from the educational purpose and things like that. So you need to understand that, you know, if an image is coming, what kind of a purpose is there, right? So that that is there. Uh, and the most important thing is, so sources is definitely the most important thing, right? From which particular source you are actually, because if you just rely on, you know, uh, comparing the images, I'm 100% sure it's going to be very difficult in the near future, right? Because it is going to be almost same. Onus is on the platforms, onus is on the companies. Like, you know, a lot of companies nowadays, they are taking the onus that if there's any video of their employees or their executives are coming up, they are <coughs> actually going to take it down from the internet. So they are doing it. Everybody is doing it uh, mm. from, from their part, right? But for the normal users, mm. I would say that, you know, uh, just don't go by the image that you are seeing on the on the platform. You also understand what is the purpose, what is the reason of you know having this kind of a thing. Use your common sense and believe in the legit source only. On the legit source, because there are a lot of sources which are using these things too. And we have seen a lot of cases of you know uh, uh, communal rights and all those things because of using these kind of uh, images. So the the most important mm -hmm. tool for and I'm sure you know I can list down some tools. Nobody's going to remember, nobody's going to cross check and all those things. It is it is not going to happen, right? So the most common tool or the most important tool is your common sense. So that is what you know you should believe in. And yeah, that that's what I can suggest you. Uh yeah. All right, Ankit and Ankush, thanks so much for joining us with that, talking about the right source. Remember what happened with that picture of uh, Kate Middleton? She put out a picture and it was a very trusted media organization which said that they will not uh, put it out because right. it is it looks fake. So there are enough and more instances doing the rounds of what can really happen. But the bottom line here really is not to trust everything that you see.